hi guys today we will learn about how to insert data into database how to update data and how to uh, insert data from the database into grid view and how to update data in the grid view as well so let's start it this is my default data spx page i just simply insert three text boxes uh, these are just um, HTML names. This one is the only la label and add button from here on this uh, ASP toolbox. I just name it btn add. It's a ID and the text on the front is add. This is txt name as you can see. txt grade. txt fee. I just added a new item from here SQL da server database and I name it school so I already just uh, click this one and I already added one here this is the school which school database which I can see also in server explorer I just open it and I just add a new table roll number number integer name varchar red and char and he also integer I just incremented this roll number by the sequence of one so I go here I just need identity increment one also make it as a primary key that's it uh, save it on the name of detail Detail details one. So this is the form. Double click the add button. We are on the button click event. For inserting data, we will first create a connection string. For connection string, we will import import two classes. One is imports system dot data imports system dot data dot sql client that's it under the partial class declare cns new sql connection i will add sql string here so i just use the simplest way this is the school database I just simply click that and properties can see a connection string here copy it and place between the double quotes remember remove the double quotes in between the strings wherever it you found look at this I found that and I removed it, the all string go right so it's okay now dim c cm as new SQL command okay go here un under the button click event cm dot open cm connection is equal to cm make the connection with the cm so cm dot command text that's the query which will go here insert into details one okay. what what to insert I am inserting name red and uh, mm, yeah see okay values name is text so I am using these single quotes txt name that text Okay, comma grad is uh, 
uh, yeah it's also in chart so it's a text txt red text comma and the last one fee is integer so i'm only using this one txt fee dot text you can see the all connection strings Okay now, cm dot execute non query will execute the query and cm okay response dot write at the top data insert and cm dot close. Remember, closing connection is very important. So now run your application. Okay. Open in the browser. It will take a little time. Okay. The data came. So Judge Shakir. Bread is fifth. And fees is 500. Add it. Look at this. Data is inserted. So go there in the details. Right click, show the table. You can see the data is inserted here. One, so yeah, fifth, and so it's a very simple thing. Now add another Jawad third. And this is 300. Okay, data inserted. Execute the query. Okay, let's add it. You can see the roll number is automatically incremented by the number of 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it will be the sequence. That's it, brothers and sisters. Enjoy the tutorial and hope you will like it. And please subscribe my channel and also like the video. The for for more videos stay connected with us and also comment uh, under the videos hope i will resolve your problems if you face in between the practice mode thanks a lot